All right, guys. Uh, welcome to Module 5, Construction Drawings, Intro to Construction Drawings. All right. Okay, upon completion of this module, you will be able to recognize and identify basic construction drawing terms, components, and symbols. Uh, relate information on construction drawings to actual locations on the print. And uh, recognize different classifications of construction drawings and also interpret and use drawing dimensions. Okay, performance tasks. Using the floor plan supplied with this module, locate the wall common to both interview rooms, determine the overall width of the structure studio, find the distance from the outside east wall to the center of the beam in the structure studio, and find the elevation of the slab. Okay, introduction, construction drawings are architectural and working drawings of the two types. Uh, they represent a structure or structure system, and they're traditionally referred to as a blueprint, which had to do with the way they were copied. Um, and today they're created by CAD, uh, or, co or a computer-aided drafting program. Uh, construction drawings and specifications uh, detail what is to be built and the materials to be used. Okay, here's a visual of a CAD program. Okay, basic components. It always include six types of drawings, almost always include six types of drawings. Uh, and those include civil, architectural, structural, mechanical, plumbing, electrical, fire protection, um, and it may be included. Um, so what you wanna look at here, this, this, um, this figure that's shown here, actually is in your book as well. Review this figure and make sure you know what, what components are found on the different drawings, okay? Um, so if we look at these types, you know, if we look at the, look at the mechanical, it's going to include your piping systems, your HVAC, any motors, um, plumbing is plumbing layout and fixtures and sewage. Okay. So just, uh, pay attention to that. Uh, look over those. Okay. Uh, the basic components are fairly standardized format. There are five parts, the title block, the border, drawing area, Revision block and legend. Okay, the title block. There's one shown here on the left of the slide. Um, on the drawing, a project is identified by the sheet title found in the title block. Information about the structure or assembly is provided in the title block. And it generally contains the company logo, the sheet title, the date, who it was drawn by, what the drawing number is, uh, the scale and the revision blocks. Okay. All right, revision blocks. It's essential to note the revision designation on a construction drawing and to use the latest version, otherwise costly mistakes can result. Okay, the legend. Uh, it's the identification of lines and other symbols on a construction drawing. It's called the legend. Uh, specific only to the set of drawings in which they are contained. Okay. Any of you guys uh, learned to read a map? Maps also have legends. You're using symbols uh, because you're drawing a two-dimensional drawing and you have to have a way to designate and differentiate certain things. Civil plans. These are plans uh, used for work that has to do with construction in or on the earth and they are called civil plans also could be known as site plans, survey plans, or plot plans. They shoot, show contour lines, uh, which contour lines have to do with the, the topography of a, of a surface, which is the elevation. Um, if any of you guys are hikers and have looked at maps uh, for hiking trails, you know, it'll show uh, contour lines, and the closer the contour lines are together, the steeper the hill is, right? And they can include a landscaping plan as well. Okay, landscaping plans can show trees, walks, driveways, utilities, property dimensions, and legal descriptions. <clears throat> Architectural plans. They show the design of the project. Um, one part is a floor plan, also known as a plain view. Uh, refer to drawing one, first floor plan. The floor plan, uh, aerial view of the layout of each room, and the exterior and interior walls doors, stairways, mechanical equipment. Uh, the architect scale is used for drawing floor plans. 
you know, the roof plan, the shape of the roof and the materials to finish it. And elevation, these are side views that show the height. And exterior elevations, they show the size and style of the building, placement of doors, windows, and chimneys as well. Section drawings, these are cross-sectional views. They uh, show the inside of an object or building, and uh, they're more detail than figure eight. A detailed drawing, so a detailed drawing would be something that's set out from the other drawing to show uh, details in a certain area so it can be blown up. Okay, a window schedule and detail, so this would also be included and it would show um, what windows are required for the project, the dimensions, and any other, um, any other uh, remarks concerning those. Structural plans, um, the, the material to be used for the walls would be found on the structural plans. Um, they're a set of engineering drawings uh, and they're used to support the architectural design and it's the first part in the general notes. Okay, general notes, uh, details of materials to be used, design requirements, some examples are the type and strength of concrete. Here's an example of general notes on the right side of the slide. Foundation plan, this is the lowest level of the building. Okay. And this would be done right, you know, this would uh, show the information about where footings are, are to be poured, uh, the depth, size, and location of all that. Okay, roof framing plans. Um, drawing two shows roof framing plans. These include ceiling joists and roof rafters to be used where trusses are to be placed are also outlined on the roofing plans. Okay, structural section drawings. Again, like other section drawings, this is where it takes out um, a small piece of the drawing and it's blown up for detail. Mechanical plans. Um, these are engineered plans for motors, pumps, piping systems, and piping equipment. General notes or specifications uh, from what the contractor will provide to how the contractor determines the location of grills and registers. Uh, grills and registers, those are, um, those are your discharges for your heating and air conditioning. The mechanical engine legend, this defines the symbols. Again, just like the other legend, it's gonna tell you what the different symbols mean that you see on your drawing. List of abbreviations, okay, just like the legend, at times, things will be abbreviated to save space on the drawing. This list is also included. Uh, piping and instrumentation drawings. Uh, they're just schematic diagrams of, comp of complete piping systems, and they show the process flow. Heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. So the HVAC plan is going to tell you where all the different um, cooling units are, where the ducting is to be run, where the registers and grills are to be placed. There's another more detailed uh, drawing, uh, kind of zoomed in, of an HVAC plan. Mechanical detailed drawing. Again, detailed drawings are going to zoom in on a certain process in the system or a certain part of the drawing so that it can be drawn in more detail. The plumbing plan. These are engineered plans, and they show the layout of the plumbing systems. Okay, Everything from you know, where the sinks and toilets are placed, um, to where any faucets or hose bibs are, are, uh, are plumbed in. Uh, plumbing isometric drawings. Electrical plans. Uh, these are engineered drawings for electrical supply and distribution. They include the location of the electric meter, the distribution panel, switch gear, and uh, the convenience outlets and any special outlets. Okay, here's an example of general notes for the electrical plan. Lighting plan, um, drawing three is the first floor lighting plan. It shows the location of lights and receptacles. Power plans, the same section of the building uh, highlighted in drawing three. Panel schedules, okay, this is uh, specifying the, the panels in the electrical panel, what's to be used and where certain circuits are supposed to be placed. Electrical symbol list, again, it's, it's a legend, guys. We've seen this one before. This is just showing you what different, different, uh, 
different shapes, different uh, things mean. The electrical abbreviation, same thing. We went over this, all right? Abbreviations are made so that it saves, uh, saves space while you're writing any kind of description. So you're doing it with an abbreviation so uh, you don't clutter the drawing up. Fire protection plans. Drawing four is the first floor protection plan, and it shows piping, valves, heads, and switches that make the fire sprinkler system. <laughs> Specifications. Uh, to clarify information that cannot be shown on the drawing, the architect and engineering firm will prepare, prepare specifications. Okay, here's another example. Request for RFI. So a request for information or an RFI. These are to clarify discrepancies in the plans and to, to clarify any discrepancies in the plans, the foreman should use an RFA, RFI. Okay, the scale. The scale tells the size of the drawn objects compared to the actual size. So we're not gonna get a piece of paper as big as the building that we're in. We're gonna draw that scaled down, okay? So site plans are developed using an engineering scale. An example of a scale would be one inch equals 20 feet and zero inches. So basically one inch on the drawing would equal 20 feet in real life. Okay, lines of construction. So there's many different lines. There's dimensioning lines that are shown here, leader lines, property lines, uh, cut lines, section cuts, break lines, hidden lines, center lines, and object lines. Lines of construction in the alphabet of lines, an area not included in the cutting line view is shown in the sec with section cuts, and uh, break lines are used to show that only part of the drawing is represented to save space. Okay. For abbreviations, again, to save space on the drawing as well. Uh, here's some symbols that uh, are also used to uh, to tell you what material is being used in certain areas or what's trying to be shown. Some more structural symbols, mechanical symbols, plumbing symbols, keynotes. A keynote is a number or letter that is used with a leader and an arrowhead to identify a specific object. It usually appears in a square or a circle. Grid lines. Grid lines are used to make it easy to refer to specific locations on the plan. To avoid confusion, the letters I, O, and Q, and the numbers one and zero are omitted, are emitted from the gr grid line system. Dimensions show the size and placement of objects. It can have arrowheads or slashes at both ends. Dimensions itself near the middle, um, a dimension is a measurement written as a number. And then exterior and interior dimensions of pipe, two measurements um, you could take to get the pipe dimensions, interior and exterior. Uh, one thing I should mention about pipe, pipe is nominally sized, which means that the dimension given for like say two inch pipe or six inch pipe or eight inch pipe doesn't necessarily truly reflect either dimension, either dimension taken. It's not gonna be an exact dimension uh, like with a square tube. Pipe uh, has some variances. Thanks guys, um, please review this and prepare for the exam.